Are there two ways of looking at the, the league position you're in, not just the league position, but the run of form you're in? I mean, if you compare it to last season, obviously you're, you're well up on where you were, but looking at it now, is there a slight concern about the, the lack of wins that you're managing to put together? Not really. Uh, I think if we were losing every week, I would have to um, show concern, but the players have been very close. I think we've had, uh, I think it's three losses in 11 games. Um, so I've been involved at the football club where over the last three years we've been losing um, every other week. That's not the case, but there's also a frustration that this group has been that close to winning more matches than what we've drawn. I think we've drawn seven. So we are disappointed with that, but I think as a manager, with you know, when you're leading the group, you have to make sure that the, the group of players believe in themselves. They are a good group. I think we are working with limited resources and we are trying to build the, the football club, club back up. I think this time last year we was on 26 points and now we're on 38 points. We're trying to uh, get more stability off the pitch and uh, you know I think we've made small improvements but I can understand supporters' uh, frustration certainly uh, with a 45 minutes of football that we, we played. Yeah, I guess a, a difficult question to answer really, but how do you turn draws into into wins? I guess if you knew that you'd be a lot higher anyway. But I think we have to take responsibility all as a team. I mean even last year we was it was one nils and you know, no one really complains as long as you're winning. And uh, we know well certainly I know that is a high pressure environment that we're working in and we have to win football matches but I still trust the group. Um, they've been working extremely hard this week, and uh, you know we will take responsibility of that 45 minutes of performance. But I'm not going to get you know too cut up about that. It was uh, football is very very difficult at times, and uh, you know we all went through last year uh, with the resilience, the perseverance, and the hard work that you have to put in. I know exactly what it takes to, to come in the next day and be driven again. Yeah, so are you looking up the table or over your shoulder, Dane, or both? I think you always look at the next game. Notts County is going to be very difficult. Yeah. Every game's difficult. Um, we're coming up against Stead and Amiobi, a wealth of experience. And I've got younger players going into battle that's not experienced that environment. But it's nothing that we're not scared of. We've just got to make sure. Uh, we've done for the majority of the season is put an unbelievable work ethic and uh, I think that's why I was disappointed, the players knew I was disappointed on Saturday um, there was one or two uh, lapses of concentration and then I seen the, the energy levels drop which is not us. Yeah I mean you, you, you talk about there the experience they have and the advantage it will give your players playing against them a um, lot of profile names haven't they, Notts County have got, not just Amiobi but they've got Alan Smith as well and, and Nolan's obviously registered himself so a lot of experience which will be good to, to learning uh, yeah, for your players to learn again. It is and uh, you know, I don't want to be the, the manager that sits here now and says uh, we're going up uh, against a real big club and you, know, you only look at a club like that, that are fighting for their lives, how they've ended up in that position. The resources we're working with here uh, and what we're trying to compete and how we're trying to build, I think we've made small improvements. But uh, just because of the way I am as a manager, I want more, and I expect the supporters to want more. And uh, sometimes you get very, very frustrated when you don't get it. And uh, you know, there's not, it's not for the lack of trying. Yeah, Kevin Nolan, a high-profile manager for this level, isn't he? I mean, what have you made of the job he's been there? Uh, not that long, of course, but what do you make of him as a manager? Well, he's a high-profile. You know, player, and and everyone knows about him. And I played against him years ago when, when he played, and uh, he's a very good player. I think uh, he would understand how difficult it is uh, as a manager uh, compared to a coach or a player. It's a completely different feeling. It's a completely um, different pressure that you've got to take. And uh, he's got a group of players that are working extremely hard for him. And uh, you know, for the club to be where they are. Um, you know, he would probably question him, himself and, and the players as to, to why they've ended up where they have. Um, so he's analysed it, he's, a, he's assessed it and he's gotten back to, to playing like they used to play um, when they were successful. So we know it's going to be tough but we've done our preparations and uh, we'll be looking forward to the game.